What are you planning on doing with your free time this week? Maybe you have some errands to run, or maybe you want to cook a nice meal for yourself. Both of these options require you to make decisions about what needs to be done, the order in which you will perform tasks, and how you perform them. In this lesson, we will discuss the three steps of the planning phase of the strategic marketing process. I think you'll find that you already possess the skills needed. The best way to start a strategic marketing plan is deciding who, what, and how. Fleshing these details out starts with something called situational analysis. It helps to determine the focus, customer values, goal setting, and the direction of a marketing program, all essential stages for marketing success, and also requires a lot of time and energy to complete. Let's dive into stage one, situation analysis, or SWOT. SWOT is short for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. SWOT essentially analyzes data to learn about the past, present, and future of an organization, idea, or item. A situational analysis looks at the competition, trends, the company itself, and consumers. Translating the SWOT analysis helps build the marketing plan based on what the company is doing right and what they can do better. It's all about growing opportunities and minimizing risks. Stage two of the planning stage is figuring out what idea, item, or message to share with consumers. This usually involves analyzing the buyers themselves, assessing what they need and want, and then predicting how they will react to specific marketing efforts. Stage two also involves a concise customer value proposition that clearly explains why the item is important, how it will benefit the consumer, and why consumers should or will choose the organization's product over the competition. This is also known as points of difference. The steps in stage two allow a company to develop a relevant and quantifiable marketing program. Which leads us to stage three, designing a marketing program. Thanks to stage one and two, the marketing designer knows who and what the consumer needs. Stage three is the how-to designing a marketing plan. Let's talk about the four Ps, promotion, product, price, and place. The four Ps are considered integral factors of marketing that are manageable and predictable by the organization. It's also called the marketing mix. The promotion is the message to the consumer. The product is the object, service, or concept. The price is the amount for the product, and the place is how the product is displayed to attract buyers. Determining the promotion, price, place, and product are decisive advantages to meeting the needs of the target market. Remember, marketing isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. That's why these three steps of planning and strategic marketing campaign are so important.